Welcome to a long-awaited tutorial featuring the AI system. This time we're featuring the traffic AI system or the cars AI system. What we have in here is a working road system that the AI can take. And if we turn on the gizmos, we're going to see the actual road network. What we have in here is nodes connecting each other. And we have these links that the node can take. What a link node is, is the same as a waypoint node that we used for the pedestrians. The only difference is that it has this link pointer attached to it. So what this means is that the AI can take one of two routes. So as we just saw in here, the AI can take two routes depending on the random seed that generates it. So one of the routes is obviously to go straight and one of the routes is to take this turn. And this is what the AI is doing. We have the same roads network in here as well. We have a link node in here that has a next pointer going straight and a link node that goes into this direction. And we can see the cars following those nodes. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can lay out this node system. And in the next video, you're going to be able to download the whole entire script. This is our road network. This is already laid out perfectly fine so the AI can follow it. What we're going to do is set this crosswalk in here. This one is not set up. As we can see, it only has these nodes that I generated in Cinema 4D and it's ready to be connected. So using this generate waypoints that I made, I'm going to go and select this root node and drop it in the root object. Now we have a couple of buttons in here. So the ones that I've added is this generate vehicle node that will generate empty nodes. And then we have this assign vehicle node. This will link these nodes together. Now the thing that we need to be looking at is this next pointer. So if we click this next pointer, it should not take us to this node. The reason is because we want to follow the next node and this is the opposite going direction. So what I made is a reverse car node array that will reverse all these nodes. And now if we take a look, we should see a next one and a previous one. So the previous one should take us back as we can see, the next one should obviously take us forward. And since this is the last one, this should not have a next pointer. So we're going to assign it to none. Now, since we want to use a link node in here, this AI can take only two routes in this crossing. One is going in this direction and one is going in this direction, following the right hand sided rules. So what we need to do is point the next pointer to this node point the link node into this node in here so we're gonna click this lock button and we're gonna navigate to this node in here and we're simply gonna drag it into our next pointer now we can see it draws a line now let's proceed into connecting the link node so we're gonna click this node in here and we're gonna do the same we're gonna drag it and drop it into the link node now we can see it draws lines and we're going to see that it has no previous node. So we're going to drag in our second object and we're going to drop it into the previous node. Now we're going to see that this should have a pointer to the next node and to the link node. Now for some reason, the link node is not displaying. I don't know why, but it's there and it works. So that's all that we care about. Now let's work into this lane in here. So we're going to do the same. We're going to take the root object, we're going to generate vehicle nodes, we're going to assign the vehicle node, and we're going to do the same. We're going to check if the direction is correct. So the previous waypoint should be empty and the next waypoint should be this one. That's the basics of the road network. There's one last thing that we need to do is attach this one into a link node, which is going to be this one. So let's go and hit this lock button so we don't lose this node. We're going to select that one and we're going to drop it into this link node. Okay, now we have a road network that should work. Let's drag in our camera since it acts as a spawner. Let's drop it in somewhere in here and let's hit play and see what happens. If we ignore this collision in here, we're going to see that the AI takes the routes. And it works as it intended. Now there's one last problem that we have in here is with the spawning in this lane. The problem with that is that this node is pointing in the same direction as this node. 
To fix that, we're going to select all the clones. We're going to go into the Y direction and simply add 180. That should flip these nodes into this direction and we should have a working AI system. So let's hit play one more time and see what happens. Okay, now we have this one spawned in the right direction and we have a much better working AI system. Okay, here is a denser traffic system to demonstrate that this AI system works fine. Okay, that's it about this tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it. In the next video, I'm going to leave the scripts so you can download them and try it for yourself. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.